You're watching PTV. I'm Benji from Let's Go to the Park, and I want my PTV. You're watching PTV.
You're watching PTV. From the San Francisco Bay Area, it's time for PTV Live. And now, here are the stars of PTV Live. Arnie, Doug, Ben, and Sherry. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to PTV Live. I'm Arnie. I'm Doug. I'm Ben. I'm Sherry. And uh, wow, yeah, what Mara said, watching you dismantle that, it dismantle that tree makes lot. me exhausted. It's a lot. Yeah. Our house is getting so close to be 100%, not counting the mantle, <laughs> but we're like 98, 99% there. We're done. It's just a lot of tidy whities and staging. Oh. Can we you, still can, have quite yeah, a bit left. Can you come over and help us finish? <laughs> Scoop can everything up and it? put it in a tote. Our <laughs> people have been so busy that we just haven't had a chance to finish it up. Yeah, we don't, Well, we, you said you wanted to up by an, or after Valentine's Day. No. Oh, look who's here. Oh, Miss Donna. Hello, Donna. Donna, I am glad to see you're feeling yeah. better. Welcome to the yeah. show tonight. Oh, that's the, wonderful. The land of the YouTube. And uh, yeah, by the way, that that's gerbil. It's actually uh, a hamster. Miss Boop. She is a mascot of Fox Hollow, who is one of our support channels. So uh, Miss Boop <laughs> really loves her PTV. So uh, yeah. But how hamster. <laughs> And yes, they smell like pee and poop. <laughs> yeah, they do. I agree with you. Yes, we had do. one as a kid in the 80s. And... Yeah, they... We had guinea pigs and they were just as bad. Yeah. Better than sweat. It's better than sweat and sugar. <laughs> oh, no. no. That's little kids. Dirt and sugar. Dirt, dirt and sugar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dirt oh. and sugar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's just so rude. Yeah. Well, everyone, it is good to be with you tonight. We are going to have some fun with the craft. We're going to be spending how how long do you think this craft is going to take us, Sherry? About 20, 30 minutes, maybe? Oh no. Okay, no, so it'll it go quickly. It'll, yeah. yeah, it'll okay, it's so a fast. It's a fast. Sherry believes it's gonna only take about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. Uh maybe 15 maybe 15 at the most. Oh, okay. Well, we'll see what happens. Well, there's a hot glue gun involved, which means no, possible I'm, injuries. When do I put it in? Little, Sherry, I've got my little finger protectors. Do you have any cream in case Ben gets a burn or something like that? <laughs> An ointment? I, can, I can run upstairs and get some. <laughs> when are we going to do it? Should I plug in? Uh, I've got mine on. Sherry, yeah, well, she yours is cordless, right? I plugged well, in. Yes, I'm just too lazy. To be, but it still has to be plugged into the base in order to... Cassidy, bless your heart. Work. Cassidy's at Epcot tonight, but couldn't miss watching PTV. Oh, I hate to say it, if so I was at much. Epcot, I would be watching anybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you know what? It is It is after 9 o'clock over it's there, after, which yeah. means the, the park is oh. officially closed now. It closes at it's so nine. foreign to me. I'm not used to park closing at 9. I, I mean, mean, they do the nighttime I'm a, show. I'm a 12, 1 o'clock kind of guy. I just don't get it. Yeah, Disneyland does. Well, that's things. a Disneyland thing. That's, that's not a, a Disneyland thing. Ain't no back east thing. Yeah, that's no. true. Well, everyone, welcome to the show. It's uh, going to be a lot of fun. We have our regular segments tonight. So uh, do you want to get started with something? I don't know. Do you want to get started? I'm already drinking because yeah. we had to make sure the <laughs> proportions were off. It ended up being very medicinal. Okay. Until we put lemon juice in Yeah, we'll, we'll uh, share that in just a second. Let's go ahead and make a cocktail. Okay. Oh, where did yeah, that's Sherry real go? tacky for Mike. Where did yeah. Sherry go? Well, you mentioned a drink, and she all of a sudden got very, very thirsty, so she's going off for some water. Oh, okay. Well, we're making a Cupid Zero tonight. We decided to come up with something. We weren't quite sure what we wanted, but we created this one this afternoon. Okay, so when we were cleaning up the front of the living room, we have a bar cart. And I said, before we even move that, after we put the tree away in vacuum, I want every bottle wiped down. And I want it in a catalog. So we bought an app. 
to put our alcohol in it. We have 57 bottles. I know we're total booze hands. Um, <laughs> we put them in the app. We wiped all of it, wiped down. So all the bar cart is totally organized and all nice and tidy. That was a lot of work. And by the way, we did not buy all that liquor last oh, week. God. We've had this over the over five, years. Five, three, four, five years. We just pick it up. Yeah, so it's not like we buy it all at once. And it's not like we it, drink. Then it sits. So, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, anyway, uh, we're going to start with, uh, well, actually, I'm going to use the shot glass that I have already filled with freshly squeezed lemon juice. So I'm going to put three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice in. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in some vodka. Let me give it a tap in there. I'm using this one that has glitter all over it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'll use this little towel that I have here. We need another moist towel. Out. I forgot to get a napkin for myself, but I, I do have. We have two over there. I do have a paper towel here. So here we go. We got the lemon juice in. Now I'm going to put in two ounces of vodka. Of course, we have our trusty bottle from Costco, which is tub o. It's huge. It's huge. Hi, Carla and Kiko. Good to see you. <laughs> Sherry. Uh, Sherry. Uh, oh, sorry, Megan is looking for Sherry. Ben. I'm here. Oh. Oh, there you go. Went to water. Okay, so yeah, this bottle's actually getting a little easier to manage because it's not quite as full. So two ounces of vodka. It's French, not Russian. Yeah, it does. It's actually made in France. Okay. We don't have any lusty lady music, you know. Dwah, dwah, dwah. While you're playing with alcohol. <laughs> Arnie, can you please slap that thing back up in the center of the screen again? What? What, this? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to delete okay. that file. And then we had, <laughs> in the car, we have this tiny <laughs> bottle of peach schnapps. So we came up with a recipe Schnapp. that used schnapps. Schnapps. So I don't know if it's quite an ounce it's or like not. It's like flanellum. Flanellum. You know, look at it. It's an ounce. <laughs> <laughs> Flarinum. 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 I like that. Flarinum. Yes. Okay, so that and a was lot actually... of drinks. We had it at Club 33 at Disneyland. Our little baby bottles out of, of uh, peach oh, schnapps. It's gone. Go. So it's gone. So I like uh, peach schnapps. Donna says that she's missed Dougisms. <laughs> There's our first Dougism, Lusty Lady Music. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, then this takes half an ounce of triple sec. You can use any. Oh, buy the expensive stuff, people. Do not buy the cheap triple sec. Yeah, you know what? This is from oh. a, this is from Luxardo, and uh, we have used like the bottom shelf stuff before. <laughs> and when I tried, it, I thought, you know what? Why why do people like triple sec? When I bought this, I understand now. I know why people buy. Like Does that triple say sec. triple sec or triple rum? It's tri triple triplum triple sec. Triple sack. Triple one. Okay. Triple one, triple sack. It's from Luxardo. It's an Italian. I'm, hearing, I'm reading triple rum and I'm going, huh? Oh, you want to have. But she's have, not even drinking. I have my. <laughs> the rums we have. Let me go into her. Stuff. Okay. And then we also have half an ounce of rum. grenadine. Now, the reason why I chose the grenadine in this is because Church. I wanted the drink to look red for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to put in half an ounce. One, okay. two, three. Up oh, there's your red. Yep, it's red. Four, so five, there we go. six, seven rums. Yeah, we have seven rums on the bar cart. Not including like the Malibu stuff. So then I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here in my little shaker. It makes it sound like you guys drink every night. I know. I know. I know. And, and we, we don't. We, we make a cocktail for the show. The or we the time, do play around if we do see one, we end up sharing and we end up suckling on that for like three hours and we go back and forth and it's like three ounces. It's all watered down and nasty. And then he falls asleep. Triplum. No, actually it does not contain prune juice. It's an orange liqueur. No, that's made with raisins. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Well, Doug, Doug refers to raisins as pathetic grapes. Oh, they are nasty. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't mind golden. It depends on what it is. And I'm going to go ahead and strain it into the glass. 
<laughs> There's a little bit of C there. That, that, yeah. Exactly, Mars. Yeah, that's exactly what Doug said. So yeah, I'm gonna suckling. Go ahead, I'll go ahead and add a, some ice to it, too. Okay. There we go. So this... It's a word. <laughs> We're playing Wordle. How many player people are playing Wordle? Me. Me. We're all playing Wordle. It's fun. It's, yeah. It's but uh, so this is Cupid's arrow. Cheers. Let me see if yours tastes like. See if it's right. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, it is. Oh, that tastes exactly the same thing. Mine's a little more watered down. Well, yeah, you've been. It's been ice has been melting, but yeah, Cupid's arrow. Yeah. And if D and G were here in the chat, I would. They would say dilly dilly. Now that I think about it, it's like they're a on a cruise. Bolly rancher. There it is. They're on a cruise. They're on yeah. a cruise this week. In yeah, the D and G. They're actually on a cruise. Okay, if I'm on a cruise, I would not be replying through texts. So I'm texting <laughs> them jokes and everything, and they're actually replying immediately back. Well, they weren't on the cruise ship when they when they responded. Hello, Jim. Yeah, but if I mean I'm going somewhere, the last thing I'm going to do is reply to texts. But uh, well, with those text messages, actually, there's Derek. And they were lusting after the uh, Disney Cruise Line. They're fantasy. in Nassau. They're, They're in, in Nassau, Nassau today. There he is. He's pointing at the, the Dis Disney the ship. Disney Fantasy. And they took pictures in front of the Disney ship. Not that they went on a Disney cruise you think they were. They went on the Sky Princess. And uh, they're in Nassau today. So they're having a good time. They're at Margaritaville, I guess. Let yeah. me ask you guys, going back to Wordle, how long did it take each of you to get today's word? Uh, six. All six tries. You know, long or how many times? How many, no, how, how many, many tries? How many tries to get the word? Mine was five. I've not gotten the six. I, I got it in five. I got mine in three. If you get those Way stupid to go. vowels and you yeah. get E just right, know that there's two. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that was a cocktail. But uh, something else I wanted to do was I wanted to go over a Friendsgiving update. <laughs> well, she was laughing about something. You must have gotten a text message from someone. Now Geek wants to know, when is Doug going to start dressing up like Johnny Weir? <laughs> oh, please. You guys are <laughs> games. Why does anyone need to dress up like Johnny no. Weir? <laughs> I can't afford the makeup. And, um, or no. the clothes. I wouldn't want to dress clothes. up like Maybe oh. for Halloween. <laughs> Well, okay, so here's a Friendsgiving update. Let me go ahead and run this video here for you, and you can see this. Um, Richard, I would not buy November 22nd. <laughs> now, I, now, I must say, though, while we were sitting there at dinner, we heard something. <laughs> and it wasn't tuba playing for a quinceanera like it happened across the street that one time. No. And it wasn't a loud engine going up and down the street. It was or it like wasn't a, a shelf in a rafters falling down onto the heating duct. <laughs> it was outside. It, but it was some kind of a thud. And then after a while, Doug was... What, you were I was the, the showing trees? Nicholas and Aaron in the trees. I was doing the grand tour. And I did see in this window flashing lights. And I just thought maybe... Because the yeah, tree was but, rotating, that it was somehow flashing or flickering. Yeah, but I, but I'm I'm looking I at them. What, hey, what's going on with the flashing lights out there? Yeah, and then it really got really flashy in the front of the house. Yeah, turns out that there were a couple of fire. There's fire a fire trucks, truck. So uh, I think an EMT was there and things. Uh, it was the aftermath of this. Here we have. Uh, the view of our house right there, the villa, right across the street, you can see... Oh, nothing about being nosy neighbors. There's <laughs> damage. Someone ran into his house. Some older oh. woman got confused. Oh, oh bless And she heart. drove into what she thought was her driveway. Didn't didn't have very good judgment with the side of the uh, distance in the driveway. And uh, she hit the Sorry. side of the house. So that happened on Friendsgiving, which was November, Saturday night, November the 20th. November 20th. November 20th. Was she okay? She, we don't know whatever well, happened with her. However, we do via know. Via the insurance from November 20th now, to just remember, now. two and a half months have passed. Yeah. And mm -hmm. now we have the outside of the house 
and you can see we're one of those types of neighbors that need to know what everything's going and we take pictures. So there it is. The house has been repaired, but you'll, you can definitely see a color difference in the stonework. I was going to say, it's a darker gray. Yeah. You it hasn't been out in the sun and bleached. No, it hasn't. No. But, but I think they, I mean, it seemed to be fixed. I mean, well, there, there you go. I mean, the insurance leave, leave came it, through or. Leave it to uh, an insurance settlement to only cover just the damage and not to make everything look cosmetically great. Yeah. So as Donna said before and after. But I wanted to give you all that Friendsgiving update because I'm sure some of you are wondering, hey, a couple months like ago, I remember what happened. about our neighborhood. But I thought, oh, I'll just I'll just close the loop on that one. So uh, there you go. I just can't have. You're that. welcome. Yeah, I can't have that anything happen to our house because I swear to God, I would want it fixed the next day. I could not wait almost two and a half months. Yeah, that would drive me You're right. crazy. You're absolutely right. Probably had a hard time, and yeah, it is a wonderful color on the house. Mm, yeah, it's it's matchy, hey, but it's so that's your friendsgiving update. But um, I'm glad I've got a drink in my hand right now. Ryan, it's time for the Hallmark Channel movie review. <gasps> now, as a reminder, February on Hallmark Channel is Loveuary. <laughs> That's, okay. that's what i say Doug. i'm gonna bring out the Ugh. quote i'll bring up my own quote from this past week's episode of life with ben okay that's just stupid <laughs> <laughs> well the movie was an encore presentation or what we call a repeat of the wedding veil <laughs> it was presented in january to introduce this series of three films that they've done and they all involve this one italian wedding veil that Three women get together, they buy it, and one of them says, I'll take it first, and love ensues. It's supposed to be cursed in a good way, <laughs> but it was, I forced myself to watch it because I want to know the idiot guy, when he finally realized when in the show, or the movie, or whatever we watched, that he was going to realize that she's not getting married and she was single. He's an idiot. I mean, it was like an hour and 10 minutes into the movie. He finally realized, oh, so you're not getting a movie. You're not planning any wedding. You're not doing any of this. You're not doing any of that. You said it was an encore of the first one? An yeah. encore presentation of the first in the trilogy for The Wedding Veil. Yes. Oh, it was just. But oh, so out loud, You haven't, seen, you haven't seen the second one then. The second one hasn't been second one not even out yet. Okay. Uh, Outlaw Geek says, which one is the party planner? It was actually her mother. Her mother was one. Her mother she went to a lot of weddings planning. and did sit-ins or uh, fit it or when someone can't now, fit. I originally it thought it, it was all I could do to, to... Not throw up? Yeah, and to yeah. stay with it to the end. That was a terrible movie. It was awful. <laughs> it was horrible. Wanna okay, concept-wise, the, the concept-wise, I have to give it down. I actually like the overall, but it was contrived and then the painting was the veil i mean they put put it up yeah the, oh you know, that the dictionary i thing. was you know what i forgot to do i was actually going to oh. type out the definition of of um stupid contrived <laughs> contrived it was everything well. about it was not natural not that a hallmark there's anything natural about a hallmark movie <laughs> but it was just like click, click, click. It was horrible. I gave it three tarnished crowns. No, two. <laughs> two, yeah, two yeah, tarnished. Two tarnished gold crowns. Yeah, I know Paul. I don't know if he's here. He okay, gave it one soggy bin burrito. Contrived. <laughs> contrived. Yes. Deliberately, yes. Deliberately created uh -huh. rather than arising naturally uh -huh. or spontaneously. Exactly. Yeah. It was yeah. painful. So painful. That is definitely so the word painful. for this film. And, and I, my my problem is is that there are two more movies. Well, Paul is hopeful that the next two are better, but this one. Well, I'm not so much interested in the second one as much as I am in the third one because I like that actress. Okay, but that that's fine. But I'll tell you, this film 
was awful. It was You had not seen it before? No, we did not. I we, thought when it yeah, when both it Both Sherry and I saw it the the weekend in January. Yeah, it, it was, was yeah. I chose not to watch it again. Believe me, so it's I, helpful no. to have a drink and vomiting. And it for was, me to not like one cuz I'm usually more tolerant than the three of you guys. Yep. But I just it was like Oh, it, was it was everything yeah, so, was like really really and remember, it just kept on clicking and so clicking and remember, really yeah this film is the first of three we're hoping that the next two will be better but we will of course watch it for you and let you know what it is <laughs> <laughs> why but why? let's see the second film i already don't have high hopes for it just based on the name it's called the wedding veil unveiled and they're in italy at least we'll see some pretty countryside. I hope. I'm hopeful for that. I'm. Hopeful I wonder if it's all green screen. <laughs> yeah, I hope they can be flying probably all around. Is, but it's probably is. Probably. But I'll stock. be honest. I don't have big hopes or aspirations of these films. So uh, oh, yeah, this one does. Hello, there. Wanda. But yeah. So anyway, just as a reminder, we watch Hallmark on the Friendly TV app. We downloaded it and we watch it on our iPad. And we will do occasional watch parties. As a matter of fact, our next watch party is scheduled for Saturday night, February 26th. We are going to be doing it with a guest that evening. If everything works out. Last year, if you watched PTV at about this time, we did this one presentation uh, where we showed the tuba party across the street. They had a quinceanera. They were playing a tuba. When that happened, I our hope friend to pay Scott was with us that night. Scott's going to be joining us again for the Hallmark movie uh, watch party. What weekend was that last year when that happened? It was actually this weekend coming up. Uh -huh. It was the second oh, weekend oh. of February. Okay. It was also the first weekend where we edited the moment of Groovy. So, oh. Yeah, so we've been doing it for a year now. So he might oh. move yeah, if everything you'll, goes correctly. You'll see a little bit of uh, that the taking down of the Christmas tree for the moment of groovy and everything. But anyway, Hallmark watch on the friendly TV app. And uh, we have a little commercial about that, that we run. We'll show that right now. We are watching PTV. We will be right back. We use the friendly TV app to watch Hallmark. And now we can watch lifetime history, any &E, and more. There are over 30 channels from which to choose. We can even add Hallmark Movies Now to our subscription. Plans start at just $6.99 a month with no commitments. Download the Friendly TV app today at try.friendlytv.com. Watching PTV. What's new at Trader Joe's? Okay, so we're back. What's new at Trader Joe's? Package, Ben. Ben, show us the package. I don't know what a Bamba is, but you know. Is it Bamba or Bamba or what? Well, Bamba, it, I would think, would be an O. No, because La Bamba was spelled B A M B A. That's why I was wondering. I want to say it's Bamba, but it's puffed peanut and corn snacks dipped in dark chocolate. Oh, what where'd you guys go? I don't know what oh, happened to our gone. camera. Okay, okay. sorry. Uh, there we go. Hey, guys. <laughs> it's like you guys well, operated. Bamba is, is a. It's Bamba is an actual. It's a peanut butter flavored puffed maize snack manufactured by the Osim Corporation in Israel. It's one of the leading snack foods produced and sold in Israel. Okay, so it's a mimic of a snack from uh, from Israel. It's an Israeli snack. Well, yep. it's flipping delicious. Oh my god, these are amazing! Okay. I can fork all these down. Yeah, those That's are really really good. 
It has the consistency of a cheese puff. No, they're like Funyuns. But Ben, show that package again. Without the salty flavor. Yeah. They're I'm real. Not sold on them. You aren't? Uh-uh. These are good. I, I, really like, I like them. I really like those. Yeah. I'm going to eat them all. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Benji's here. They're different. Benji dropped a video this week. Uh, actually, I think it premiered yesterday. Um, and really? I sat through 40 minutes of it. Too. It's a 40 minute video, but it did not feel like 40 minutes. It was amazing. He did a lot about uh, SeaWorld. And of course, Poser Bird was there. Cannot, cannot go to SeaWorld without seeing Poser Bird. But it was a landmark video for him because it was his 50th episode. Huh? His 50th. And if so if you have not yet gone or even subscribed to Benji, go check him out. Let's go to the park. And if someone could, could you please drop a link to that particular video in the chat? Really appreciate that. Benji, great job on that. And yeah, they do look like Cheetos with chocolate on them. They're amazing. Yeah. I like them. But they're delicious. I like these. Definitely. So yeah, if you've got a Trader Joe's nearby, go mm. check them out. They so, go well with Trader looks like he's outing right there. <laughs> <laughs> what? You just look like they're sitting there pouting, like you didn't like them. No, they're fine. Well, I wouldn't say they're bad, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get them. That's just my personal taste. Yeah, that's Will and or Victoria. Hello oh. there from Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> they're oozing from Arizona. Yeah. Anyway, Northern part. Sherry, did you get anything this week? I did. Of course you did. I wonder what Sherry got this week. There it is. Check out Benji's channel. Let's go to the park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. do it. Yeah, he, he's, Benji's amusing. That's a lot of it's fun. It's a Wilbur. Oh, hello, Will. Um, Oh my gosh. Look at that carbon footprint. It's, 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 it's a real pallet drop here. No. Oh, wow. dear. The pallet drop came to my office today. <laughs> Holy moly. I do ordered you, supplies for our coach. Do you want a box cutter? Yes, please. But I will talk about these ones first. Thank you, Wanda. I got some yarn on sale because I am going to make myself learn how to do socks two socks at a time knit two socks at a time on one needle it's something i've always wanted to learn because i'll knit one sock and i get to the second one it's like oh i don't want to finish it so i got these two different color combinations for the holidays and then I wanted to do something I haven't done in years, which is a traditional granny square afghan for Christmas. So I got the red, the forest green. No, this is the forest green. I, it's green. They're, they're two different <laughs> greens. They're hard to see, but there's two I different greens. Different greens. Because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So here's here's a lighter green. And then I've got the off-white. So I'm going to be making a traditional granny square afghan for Christmas. This is my life. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this particular yarn is an anti-pill yarn. And for those of you like you who don't know what I am talking about. <laughs> yeah. He knows what pill is. I, I, I would need to be an anti-pill right now. Pilling <laughs> is when you get a sweater that is acrylic yeah. and you wear it for a while and, and you get pills. all those little, yeah, those, little nubs. those little nubs. That's pilling. I like Donna's question. And I've never yeah. wanted to do an afghan because I didn't want to use expensive yarn. Stop. <laughs> I didn't want to use expensive yarn. And so I got this acrylic yarn, but it's an anti-pill acrylic yarn and it's nice and soft. So there you go. Okay. Where's the box cutter? <laughs> <laughs> What? You just so matter of fact just hand it to her. Oh. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. I won't. I'm cutting away from she's, myself. She's trying to cut the box. Well, this thing there there we go. Your knife is retarded. It, my my knife is just fine. It's just you're you're challenged. I am not. It's the way I they can't wait for the oh, goodness. Oh, 
Oh dear lord. Yeah, be careful with that thing, Sherry. I will be. Well. <laughs> we haven't even opened them yet. So what did we oh clues and okay. we were at watchers. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. That looks like a Hallmark ornament box. It is. It is. It's the German. Here, you can take it out and show it while I open the other one. Oh, can I? Yes, you can. Make yourself useful. This is another one in the line of Santas from around the world. This one is from Germany. And there, he was, he was kind of coming caught. out. Yeah, he was kind of caught, but uh, that's him. This is Santa from Germany. Why are you not getting Krampus? What? Krampus. Krampus. I'm not gonna... Krampus. K-R-A-M-P-A-S. It's what the evil Krampus? Santa. If you're a bad, as a child in Germany, you're bad. Krampus oh. is um, and basically take oh. your soul. Oh, Doug, this is one of the ones for you. Well, we're not of that This one is one of the ones for you. You can show them that one. Is it a train? It's more train. It is another train. I see a train. Oh, good. We have still have room in the tote. And we also that have, have a bigger... 19... We that have a bigger train 1984. tree this year. 1984, special year. Wow. Me. Yeah, it was a special year. I was 10. My daughter was born. Why does it always have to be about the children? Because <laughs> it is. And then this one is... Uh, Santa from England? Yeah, Santa from England. This is the time to buy your Hallmark ornaments because they can't... It's all on the cheap. No, I'm really excited okay, because... Okay, yeah, there he is. I've been wanting... Um, is he holding a Christmas cake? Yes. Yes. Okay. So how far does this go back and why are you doing this? The Santas from around the world, they fascinated me and they didn't do them annually. In, in 2004, I think it was, they did like six or eight of them. Yeah, Mar, one of those boxes is from 1984. So yeah, yeah it's, it's an older box. Yeah, this one is from 1984. Yeah, they, you know, did the whole. Yeah. 1984. Wow. The Olympics. Election yeah. year. Oh, wow. Uh, the Olympics were in uh, Los Angeles that summer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And Walt so Disney anyway, Company did the uh, Sam the Eagle character. So that's it. Yes. That's it this yeah, week, Sherry? Yeah. Well, wonderful. Well, thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, we do have one more tasting tonight, so uh, we do. Yeah, let's get to it. So, yes, there it is. The taste of Oreo. Oreo will be. Did you have the date on there? Is when it's going to be 110? I March, March, March 6th. 6th. March 6th is Oreo's birthday. And this year, they are celebrating 110 years. Our brother's birthday. Yes, it's our brother's birthday. You said that. And sometimes he acts like he's 110. So this one is a birthday confetti cake. Yes. I still like the Pop Rock one. <laughs> and this one is hard to find. They ran out at Walmart when we were there. And we ran over to Target. They had nothing on the shelves. And then we panicked. We found it on an end cap. They have two layers of frosting in this thing. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's the birthday cake one that's got confetti, the funfetti stuff in it. And also, what is it, like a chocolate? It's like a chocolate chocolate confetti cake. So the confetti cream is probably the frosting. Oh, these are delicious. Yeah, that actually, I actually does taste like a cake. Yeah, this I could eat this whole thing. That's pretty good, but... Fortunately, we just have a couple here. We're not going to be eating mm -hmm. an entire sleeve of cookies. And they are speckled. The whole bag. They're speckled. Mm -hmm. uh, um, no, no edible glitter in this one. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. There is. There is? On the cookie. Oh, it's it's on sure. The cookie. My mistake, Noah. It is on the cookie. Edible glitter. Yeah. And I'm having a second one. 
Wow. Because I can. Um, oh, a parent. Sam says that her mom has not Donna's got <laughs> the birthday Oreos. Way to go. For surprisingly enough, they're not that sweet. Well, no, they were introduced not. a week ago today. Yeah, they were, and they were they were released on January thirty first, and of course they're a limited edition. So yeah, if you're gonna find LE. them, if you're gonna get them, you better find them now before they disappear. But that's the um. Or, they're now, really hold on. Here's the, here's the test. Do they pair well with Diet Coke? What's your what's the tastes like vodka? What? I mean, yeah, pairs with vodka. No, what they, is it? What is win your wish? Win your wish. Enter win. a chance to win your wish. Oh, okay. It says no purchase necessary. See back for details. Yeah. You don't have to. So anyway, that's the taste of Oreo. Win. Remember, we did the taste of Oreo last year in March. And coming up in March this year, we are going to be doing the taste of Dollar Tree. Where were we in 2012? Oh, I remember. It was, yeah. Okay. Ten years ago? When they were doing the 100 years of anniversary stuff of Oreos in 2012. We weren't doing YouTube at that point. No, but I didn't remember any swag, and I don't think they created swag like they do now. Or they probably did, and I just wasn't paying attention. They probably weren't paying attention. They want to know, how would they pair with milk? Oh, it's delicious. And pair well with wine? Uh, Probably, I would say a red. I would probably say, yeah, nice Pinot. Something that can hold up to the the chocolate. So... Mm -hmm. Wow. And, and yet, there it is. Hashtag the taste of Dollar Tree. And uh, Jim has agreed to be part of the festivities. So uh, no, he's gonna do Jim will be joining us for the taste of Dollar really? Tree. Really? Yes. So uh, he, he was going to try something the other week on his show. And I said, no, you got to wait for the taste of Dollar Tree. And he said, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the taste of Dollar Tree coming in March 2022. So that's going to be it for the taste of Oreo tonight. Uh, we have mm-hmm. one quick. Oh, by the way, Ben, you've got your Life with Ben shirt on. Yes. And I've got my Save the Pine Cone shirt. You can get these in our store online, redbubble.com. We've got a commercial about that right now. And we will be right back. You're watching PTV Guinness. Live here on Pepper Tree Villa. Pepper Tree Villa has a shop with unique designs for PTV. Lofi the Snowman is back in stock. And now there are new designs available. You can now help save the pine cones. Go to peppertreevilla.redbubble.com or download the Redbubble app and search for Pepper Tree Villa. Remember, your purchase helps support our channel. Please help Doug save the pine cones. Visit our Redbubble shop today. Already time to craft. Ugh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, Doug. Uh, I might. I mean, I'm just slightly inebriated. No, we're so. looking forward to <laughs> looking forward to this one. This is actually most of the ingredients here. We call this Dollar Tree Valentine craft because the ingredient, the uh, ingredients, ingredients. I'm thinking <laughs> of here. materials, the materials we purchased at Dollar Tree. Yeah, they all came from Dollar Tree, except for the craft paper. And of course, you can get craft paper there at Dollar Tree. But yeah, you can. In this case, what's the finished product look like? I don't have one done because I didn't want to make an extra one. Okay. So let me uh, let me move the, the camera over. Oh, and you're ready for the overhead shot? Oh, okay. Yep. I have I no idea so. what we're doing. There we go. Okay, we are okay. going to have our, our, our images are in the upper left corner, of course, and then there's Sherry with her craft camera ready to go. What we did was we got just a plain 5 by 7 frame, and you're going to take the back off of it. 
Uh, I'm unwrapping mine first. Oh. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, we have that problem already. And then I also cut my paper already, but this, this one's really dusty. But it doesn't matter because it doesn't show. No, it does not. The glass does not show, not the way we set up this craft. Okay. So what you'll do is just take a piece of craft paper. You you better start working on yours, oh, too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. My bad. And you just take a piece of 5 by 7 craft paper and put it on top of the glass and then put it right into the frame. So we should have cut these at five by seven is what you're trying to say. Yeah, you should have. Well, I didn't know. Then do you put the backing on the And then the you frame? put the back back on. Just make sure that if you're using a directional paper, that the stand on the back of the on the back of the frame is the right orientation. Yep. And just clip it back into place. And then turn it over. Okay, once Doug is finished cutting that, I'll cut mine. <laughs> and then I got these little pallets at Dollar Tree and I whitewashed them. Oh, you, you pallets? Oh, you did whitewash them. I did. I whitewashed yeah. them with uh, an acrylic tempera paint that was watered down just so that it wouldn't look so. So woody. Pallets are usually larger, especially when they arrive at the front door of my house. You have not had any delivery. Oh, the front get door. over it. So we glue this to it? So that gets glued in the center of your... Uh... <laughs> <No>. <laughs> A friend of mine from work just said, I love eating sushi and watching crafts. <laughs> if that's... Uh... So then, All right, Mike. Here. Then you hot glue the two pieces on the back. Okay. okay now, and then just, and then just kind of center it on your frame. Can I? And glue it in place. Oh, no, you don't. Now, do I keep I, I keep the glass in place, right? Don't put. Yeah. Don't, don't glue it yet. I just Why? did, and it's not coming. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. What, what, what's I uh... forgot. I wanted to add some twine to it. You don't have to, but if you wanted to. You could wrap some twine around it. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like this. I, I'll so do that. So that it would look like this. No. I'll add the twine. To, okay, I'm just going to... I probably add, could do it. It's too Shore, you know, no, Popeye that, looking. that's fine. We've got... I can do that. There you go. So, Sherry, I haven't glued the, uh, the palette yet to the glass. So, uh, what do you do with the little rope thing? You twine. Okay. She likes... Use some of the twine... And glue it around right next to the the leg in the back. I think I can do it from this way too. Let's see what I can do here. So I turn the the uh, the pallet over. <laughs> yeah, that that's too much. <laughs> so sure no, you don't turn it over. You just wind it around the edge. I'm gonna do it from the back here. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah. Can I have one of the? She wants a finger protector. Yeah, I don't want to burn myself. Yeah, I feel like we need that. I smell burning. Yeah. <laughs> on, on Jim's show, by the way, Jim's show is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern. When he does eating on his show, he usually plays some music. And uh, it's like the Red Skelton theme from when he had his variety show in the 50s and 60s. Yes. He usually plays that music when he's eating. I think we should have music like that playing right now. Something very... <laughs> Perky, you know, pizzicato strings or something like that. No, so screaming. I just wrap it around like three times. Okay, can I have the glue? I'll go ahead and start wrapping it around and see if it works. Just glue the edge of it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you're so you're gonna glue it now again. On this end, yeah. And it'll go underneath, yep. and then you'll cut it. There, fine. Well, okay, good. Yeah, I, I that's <laughs> oh! wow. I mean, now Was that a sneeze? Oh, yes. Wow, I'm gonna go tinkle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, our friend Sean is watching on his car. Oh, on his car, yeah, he has. 
he has a, a large screen display on his dashboard. So he's watching the show. Hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Hello, Sean. <laughs> Hey, in a couple, in uh, two months, my car will be 20 years. I still rock, rock in the cassette player and an ashtray with a lighter. Oh, my. <laughs> I know. Can you believe yeah, it? Yeah, I only have 115,000 miles on my car, and it's 20 years old. Wow. I know. Okay, so Sherry, yeah, the cassette I'm... player and the ash, the, the cigarette lighter is what So then makes I repeat it. the same thing on the other side? Yeah. And it's I predominant. It I mean, we're talking. They really want you to know that there's a cigarette lighter in this car. <laughs> I um, I was, it was able twenty to... years ago. Okay, okay, we got two conversations going on here. I was able to do it <laughs> after the fact. I would have okay, liked so to. So what do we do next? A little bit tighter. Well, I'm not doing the twine. Sherry's doing the twine. I'm doing the twine, so I'm I'm pretty good. Yeah. At And the glue did not hold on that. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so Sherry's finishing off the other side with the twine, and she's got like spider webs of hot glue all over the place. Well, that's those are easy enough to clean off. So it's three times around. Yeah, so that it looks like this. Okay. <laughs> I'm sans. Okay. Doug, I, I just I just got a text from Sean. He says, if you can, mail him your ashtray and lighter. <laughs> oh, yeah. He has that filthy habit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then you're going to take some rope. Okay. And with this... We're going to go all the way around the edge of the frame with it, but you're going to have to be really fast with this because the ends are taped so that they don't unravel. So I'm going to cut. Uh huh. I think the I'm whole cut. thing, or do we cut oh. our own? Oh, do I have to? I have to tape this. I have to glue this now to the glass, right? Yeah. Here. Not. Not. Yeah. The palette. The yeah, palette has yeah. to be glued. Okay. Thank you. Doug. Yeah, yeah, but. Did you put the glass behind the paper or in front of the paper? In front of the paper. No, it's supposed to be behind the paper. Yeah, it's supposed to be behind the glass. Well, I that's what I asked about. No one answered my yeah, question. Yeah, it's behind the glass. Okay, well, I haven't done anything yet. So let me go ahead and glue. I'll put that in. No, you have it done right. Glue that to the glass. No. No, it's no, the glass right. should be behind the paper. The glass is supposed to be behind the paper. You don't need to use the glass at all. It's supposed to be a, a paper. Oh, well, guess what? My palette is glued to the glass. <laughs> okay. That's what, fine. What do we okay, do? So oh, we glue. So this is what you have to do, and you have to do it kind of quickly so that it doesn't... Uh, fray. Fray. And I like starting in the bottom edge. Some people like starting in the top. I start in the bottom. just And then just put some glue along the edge like this. I'm going to have to wait to do mine because we only have one strand of rope. No, there's actually two others over there on the table. But, I mean, on the bed. Well, we don't, we don't, need, we don't to. need to. It doesn't take that long to glue the rope in place. No. Okay, okay. so... I think I've got to pull it down now. Yeah. And then you... Oh, you... Oh, I see what you're doing. You're gluing the rope around the frame. Yep. Yeah, on got, the inside on the edge. Inside edge. Inside edge of so the frame. So you've got something to uh, to push the rope against. Let me cut it. But you got to do it fast because the glue will set. Well, Doug is measuring his stuff out. He's like, do you have any glue there? I heard you have the glue. Okay. Did you did you glue you didn't have the glue down? Did you? Yeah. On no, 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 on that. No, not on this one. Okay. Not yet. How you doing? Are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm kind of glue one. So Doug's working on his right now. I've got mine here so far. This is what I have so far. This is what happens when you don't wear glass. Yeah. So <laughs> we're doing okay. And yeah. the rope. How much more glue do we need? For the whole thing. I did. I glued it, but how much more glue do we need? Well, you've got a couple more steps. You've got the glue for... 
the rope. Okay, I got that done. And then you need glue for a, for a heart. And a bow. I don't have a bow. No, you don't, but you've got ribbon, right? Didn't I get send you ribbon? Yeah, we've got some ribbon here. We have ribbon yeah. there. The ribbon is going to be used for a bow. That's the ribbon that we had last week. That is B-O-W, bow. And I will show you an easy way to do a bow without tying it. Okay. This is supposed to be relaxing and I'm getting nervous. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever, Alisa and Neil, I could relate to that. Crafts are supposed to be relaxing, not anxiety elating. I'm having fun with it. Oh, by the way, Donna today took a few steps without a walker. So really? her, her foot amazing. is starting to heal. Donna, that's wonderful news. Yeah. That is fantastic news. We're gonna okay, so then. Okay. You go ahead and cut cut your rope. Where is the ribbon? <laughs> I should have had the the other cutters. What do you mean the other? What do you, you mean know my that? razor cutter? Oh, that yeah. you think I, you guys make fun of? Oh yeah, I love that razor cutter thing. Okay, I'm just waiting. Right. I'm, I'm gluing the rope in place. I'm doing one side at a time so that make sure that it. Should it? Should I? Should I have the rope? I think we're gonna need. If you want to, yeah. Yeah, I think I want the rope. I don't. I didn't necessarily need the twine on the pallet, but I, I'd kind of like the rope. Okay. Yeah, definitely, Doug. You're right. I think we're gonna need glue. Get your finger. Hmm? Get your finger protector on. Oh, yeah. Because you're gonna need to push that one down in place really well before you. Uh... You're doing it from the left side. So, I want to do it from the. I have two sides of the rope done. I'm doing the third side now. Doug is yeah, going to look for another stuff. glue stick. Okay. Okay, now now you can turn it turn it around if you want and do it from Look at me losing using the hot glue gun. Ben, way to go. I know, right? <laughs> kind of like, are you go, are you moving the camera over to, yep. to, to watch me? So that they can watch you do this. Look at that. Boy, it does really set up real fast, it doesn't does. it? It does, yeah. Okay. Next. And it doesn't have to be a perfect turn. And I would do just a little at a time so that you get uh no, I'll do the whole edge. Okay. It's kind of like using a caulking gun. Yeah, that's true. You want to get it done as quickly as possible without compromising. Okay. And oh good. Okay. I I gotta say I'm impressing myself because <laughs> I am not that talented with a glue gun, and yet this one is just this craft. Is getting me over my phobia. It's working. It's working. Here, let me. I uh, feel like I need to eat spinach. <laughs> Here's it's very so, that by the sailor oh, yeah. club. So there's that's where I have I'm at so far, Sherry. Okay. I've got the rope let's, and the twine. Let's let Ben finish up his uh his gluing. Yeah. How's that how's it going with that, Ben? Now you wait before you cut it. I mean before you glue it, you may want to cut it for you so that you know where to cut it. All right. Let's see. And you're gonna kinda of have to gnaw at it with those scissors. Gnaw. Because those scissors are not the best for pretty dull for this kind of thing. Like no, they're not dull. Oh, it's just that they're not They're not designed to cut rope. No, they're not. <laughs> Okay, so now go ahead and, and get the glue and glue it all down. <laughs> then Mara said, put on your pinkies. 
<laughs> there we go. Hey, these pinkies have saved me many times since I discovered them. Hey, that's really good, Ben. I tried using them when we did that uh, wreath. It did not work. Look at that. Now, is this, you may want to put, put some just... glue right underneath that little edge so that it just stays all nice and tight. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to move it back over to mine. Okay. Now I have these little, these little black chalkboard hearts that we're going to use for in there, but before we put it in, we're going to make a bow. And the way we're going to do it is you're going to cut a piece of twine. Now you're making the bow with the twine? You'll see what it, we're doing. I, All right. There's your piece. Oh. Doesn't the twine which, come with it? Which ribbon do you want, Ben? Um, the red one. Okay. So then we... What you're gonna the wet do, one. Don't ever push the wet one. <laughs> what you're going to do is you are going to Ugh, I can't. wrap your ribbon over like that and kind of figure out how how much how big you want the ta the loop to be. Okay, I'm I'm See, okay. I'm, I'm watching. No, 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 I'm watching on camera oh, now. Okay, so you're just going to turn it over, okay. figure out how long you how big you want the the loop to be. Okay. Because we'll cut the tails, we'll trim the tails down later. And then you're just going to bring the ribbon back over it like this. So you've got like an X. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I'm doing hard. Not this again. Okay. You, I, I missed that move. Okay. Okay. I've got, I've. You've got the first, the first loop. Okay. Yeah. Just bring the bring a tail over from the other uh -huh. part of it and just bring it over the front so that the loops are about the same size. So you kind of find the center. Okay. Like that? Yeah. Okay. Although I think you're gonna want a bit of bit more tail here to work with. It should be longer than the uh than the loop. Like that? Yeah. Okay. And then just oh, trim some of it off. Okay. Then take your piece of twine. Yeah. Oh, I see where you're going with put this. Put it around. And I like to wrap it around a couple of times. Got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, did, you got hear, it. did you hear Siri? I, just heard, got I heard Siri say, got it. Yeah. All so right. Siri's doing the craft too, huh? Apparently. Uh, so you've got, you've got the strings and then you put the loop, the, the string, uh, the twine around it. Okay. And then you tighten the twine. Yeah. And tie it. And what I like to do is what's called a butcher's knot where you take it and you wrap it through the loop twice. I don't even know what that means. Once. What's that? I did two because then when you pull it tight it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't um slide back on you okay so i've got i've got i've got it tightened up now what okay now turn it over let me get rid of my pinky <sighs> okay turn it over yeah and then what you're going to do is start a knot and instead of, of um, tightening it down, mm -hmm. bring it up into the camera, you're going to wrap it around one more time the same way. Okay. And then you pull the two ends tight. Mm -hmm. And it keeps them from slipping when you, do an, uh, when you tie it that way. Okay. That's called a butcher's knot. And then just tie another knot into it to be, to just keep it in place. Okay. Oh, one more knot. Yeah. One more knot. Okay. And then trim those strings off. Okay. 
Then you're going to put some glue on it. Oh my gosh. Like that. And stick the glue right into the, that little hole on that heart. Make sure that you wear your uh, finger your, your on little, your, your little pinky, your pinky on your middle finger, because the glue is going to go right through it. And on your middle finger. Yeah, because you're going to be using it like this okay. or whatever finger you would want. But... All right. Well, let me use the glue gun. <laughs> Are you OK with that, Ben? I, th I think he's so. doing well. Good. I think so. So right here at the at the hole. Or no, on the, on the back, on, on the, the back knot. of the nut. Uh huh. Is that coming apart? Well, glue it fast so it won't. <laughs> My knot is unknotting. It's not. Yeah, don't be afraid of putting glue on it. There you go. That should that should hold it. Okay. And then put it right into the middle of the of the heart of, of the hole on the heart. Yeah. That you just you just don't want to have your finger bare behind it. Yeah. Then. Okay, so I have to trim the rope. And then you just trim. I felt like my finger was getting glued to the heart. So then you just um, trim your ribbon. Do you have a first aid kit handy for when Ben burns himself on the hot glue gun? <laughs> <laughs> Suck it up. It builds character. So trim your trim your ribbon so that it's about even with the loops all right does it matter which direction whichever direction you want there's no right way to do this okay and then more hot glue yep. <laughs> mar Ben, Mar said, I hear Ben understanding what Sherry's explaining. He's come such a long way. <laughs> Stop acting like this is the Yellow Bus Express. <laughs> okay. Then you just take some glue and put it on the back of the heart. Do you want to do that or do I want to glue it onto the palette? Well, that's no, what you're going to do. Onto, you put it onto the heart. Okay. Yeah, and, and then, then you turn uh, it over and make sure that you get it centered where you want it because it's going to set real fast. Yeah. We have to have it in the center. Why can't we have it on an angle? It, you can do whatever you want, Doug. I want mine on an angle. Well, go for it. Then I got to put a picture of me on the side. <laughs> oh, I want any more glue down there. All right. That's a lot of glue. And is that, that's the craft? And that's it. But I think I'm going to make a little bow for the corner here just because I want. She wants more flair. I want to hide my. Yeah, this is not working for me. I need more zhuzh. My, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do, but I think. That's I'm cute. Gonna, but I think what I'm going to do is yeah. instead this of is, a This ribbon, is mine. Ben, that looks really good. I'm instead very of, pleased. Yeah, and for me, instead of a ribbon bow, I'm going to take some twine and just wrap it around my fingers several times. No, I don't like it. Like that. And then I'll take a little piece of twine and do the same thing here in the center. Okay. I wrap it around. All right. She's uh, she's doing a lot here because th this is more than I would do, but this is quite a bit of flair. Where are you gonna you're gonna put that in the corner? I'm gonna put it in the corner. Which which corner? Where it covers up the uh, where I joined the rope, the rope together. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do it like this. Well, I I kind of like mine the way it looks. And like this. Uh, yes, out loud geek. Cherry does like twine. I do. I like twine in in projects. 
Oh crap. That hit me. <laughs> What's wrong, Doug? <laughs> I just <laughs> he went to go shake the uh, paint pens and the box opened and the pens went everywhere. Judy says that she likes that she could do this so pretty. Oops. Yeah, you can use any type of materials. I mean, this is just what we've chosen for this, but. And then see, I'll just put it right here in the corner. Yeah. More hot glue. Do you need a pinky thing? No. I don't. Oh, Sherry's brave. You're zhuzhing yours up a lot. So there's mine. No. Yep. I th personally thought it was a little boring. So we're bedazzling the crap out of ours. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes I like just something that looks plain and country. The, I don't. I am. And that's I'm what not into the, the hill folk kind of look. The hill folk. I mean, it's kind of a, a a farmhouse look. Okay. Our house is um, a farmhouse look. Okay, Ar Arnie, take it take it off the camera so we can uh, see what we've done with ours. Okay. Okay. So. Doug is still working on I'm his. still bedazzling mine. Here's ours. Okay, let me go ahead and I'll just present your camera first. Yeah. There you go. Those are very cute. Yep. And it's just something simple that you can put out to decorate for Valentine's Day. And then here's mine and Doug. Oh, see, see Doug went overboard with his and it looks good. Yeah. But you had the extra stuff. Yeah, that's very cute. Yeah. So there we go. Sure. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, I bedazzled mine. It needed <laughs> so more. It took how long, Arnie? Sorry? How long did it take? Uh, how Close, long was this? Closer to half an hour. Did it really? Yeah. Well, I was working with you three. <laughs> yeah. Very true. Very true. Again, but the this Yellow was Bus a, Express. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. Yeah, I like this pretty one. Pretty cool. So I like thinking, mine. So if you wanted to just go to Dollar Tree and you get four of these hearts, four you can you can come back to the camera, Arnie. Okay. Yeah, I I really need to just zhuzh mine up. Each of the palettes is a dollar. Dollar twenty five. A dollar twenty five now, yes. And it's a package of four hearts for a dollar twenty five. The frame is a dollar twenty-five. The frame is a dollar twenty-five. The rope is a dollar twenty-five, and we used um, one piece for hour two, and I have all of this left still. So, so it's it would do at least one more frame. Yeah, or two actually. Well, yeah, we have some. Around. We have some left over as well. We have a uh, lots of twine, and yeah, we have some of the rope no. left. So yeah, definitely the supplies are plenty for what we want so to do. One. It's it, it it'll do almost two, almost two. Yeah, more. almost two. Well, this one was a lot of fun. I've been enjoying these crafts. Thank you so much, Sherry. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah, uh, Donna thinks they're adorable. Oh, good. <laughs> well, let's see. These will be selling for thirty nine ninety nine at Hobby <laughs> Lobby with forty percent off. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's what they would be. This, okay. so I know a lot of these things. If you find them already made at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, yep, they're expensive. They are, and they start so, out like at fifty nine or thirty nine or forty nine, and they're at forty percent off already. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's craft time, Ben. We have life with Ben this week. <laughs> Out loud, geek said, "Doug, I'm only buying that if it comes with a set of Ginsu steak knives." <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, yeah, Doug, you're uh, right. Doug is only into the pine cone look. Yeah. Life with I was ben. thinking about adding little pine cones to this. Every season needs to have a pine cone. So, like, I would put the, my signature pine cone, a little, a little tiny one. Ooh. You're right, Mar. They would be cute staggered together on a wall somewhere. Yes, they would. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, Life with Ben Thursdays on PTV. What's happening this week, Ben? Uh, well, I went to Costco with Arnie and Doug, and we do a little bit of shopping. But we also discuss some of the price changes that have been going on at Costco that are reflective of some of the higher prices we're paying these days. Yeah. Yeah, I missed that outing. I was up with my kids and grandkids for a baby shower for my daughter-in-law, who is almost ready to bust. Yeah, almost ready. Yeah. Listening to, to my two-year-old granddaughter marching around the house humming the imperial the imperial march imperial march from star wars like she's it, all in control that's her theme song so yeah, yeah. look at that cruising funny. for food she says add a pine cone with a note actually pining for you actually <laughs> i love that wanda i absolutely love that's that wonderful wanda <laughs> that's fantastic a true, a true valentine i think i think that's going out to the garage to get a pine cone <laughs> yeah, I seriously think he did. Yeah, he just let's go get a pine cone. But uh so yeah, that's um that's pretty much our show tonight. Let's uh yeah, yeah. Actually, Any, ben, anyway, that that'll be Life with Ben coming up this coming Thursday ben, at 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific. Yours, the way it looks on camera right now, looks like it could be a mini mouse. Yeah, it does. It does. Looks like it could be <laughs> It, it also looks like a, a place card for a game show. Like this is supposed to be my name. Yeah. Like Arlene Francis. Yeah. Or Charles Nelson Riley. Yeah. Like there it is. Uh, I knew he got it to get a pine cone. <laughs> and here he comes. Okay. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. But, oh, he's. Yeah. He's adding a pine cone. Yeah, right there. That's awesome. He's just going to glue that in place. <laughs> he really is. He's, he's gluing a pine cone in place. Yeah. Well, there you go. This is quickly becoming Doug's signature. By the way, I have a box full of pine cones for Doug because we use pine cones to decorate for the shower. So he's got a box coming. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, that's cute. Very cute. A uh, pine cone. Oh. oh, it doesn't want to stay, Doug. Well, well I'm, I'm a little bit more. You know, that was just a little overly zealous. He's so. very yeah. hasty with that glue, so yeah, it just has to set. But that's a, that's it for our show tonight. Uh, we have another episode next Monday night, same time, nine thirty Eastern, six thirty Pacific. Please invite your friends to watch next week. It is Sherry's birthday. We want to celebrate Sherry's birthday because that is actually her birthday and it's also Valentine's Day. So let's yeah. have some fun together next week as yeah. well. But everyone... It um, looks perfect now. I just don't want to move it. I have to keep it flat. <laughs> Heck, you stupid thing stick. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching tonight. We really appreciate you being there. Our moderators, thank you for your help. We really appreciate that as well. Uh, to our support channels, we uh, love having you in our YouTube family as well to help out with creativity. Uh, again, tomorrow night, Jim's show, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on More Sunshine, please. Oh, yeah, there he is, Benji. Fun stuff, guys. Thanks again. Thank you, Benji. We had a great time tonight. So uh, I think we're probably going to do Doug, a little they're, cleanup. They're telling, you, they're telling you to add some pink glitter to it. No, no fairy herpes. No. I already put little stars on it. Yeah. No glitter. So, everyone, thank you so much. Sprinkles, we yes. We're going to show a little bit of a moment of groovy tonight. But sprinkles. What is yeah. it? Did, do I know what it is? The moment of groovy? Yeah, yeah. We've, we've got some things that from this past oh. weekend that we experienced as well as uh, the tearing down of the Disney tree, which is finally down now. <sighs> All of the trees are down here sans at the christmas but so, the mantle but yeah everyone thank you so much for watching tonight uh i'm arnie i'm doug 
I'm Ben. I'm Sherry. You've been watching PTV Live. We love you so much. Thank you, everyone. Have a magical evening and have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And now you're a moment to groovy. Good night. Good night. Bye.